Sometimes the damage or injury is so extensive, repair cannot be accomplished by cell regeneration alone. So in that situation, the places where cell regeneration cannot take place are filled in by connective tissue. And this connective tissue filling leads to formation of whatever is known as a scar. As you can see over here, this is a normal scar. But whenever there is excess of TGF beta or tumor growth factor beta, in that situation, it leads to or gives rise to something known as a hypertrophic scar or a keloid scar. Over here in this image, you can see there is a scar which is confined to the borders of the original wounds. Confined to the border of the original wound. And this is some known as something known as a hypertrophic scar. This hypertrophic scar contains mainly type 3 collagen. The collagen arrangement is parallel and hence it is confined within the borders of the original wound. And this has infrequent recurrence. Recurrence does not occur after treatment. And this does not have any particular predisposition. On the other hand, you have something known as keloid scar. Now, keloid scar is something, as you can see over here, it crosses the original wound boundary. It is mainly comprised of collagen type 1 as well as type 3 collagen. The collagen arrangement is disorganized and hence it takes an irregular shape as you can see over here. Recurrence is frequent and is particularly predisposed in blacks. Blacks have higher risk. So this is what in brief you should know about hypertrophic scar and keloid scar.